Hello everyone! In this video, we will be working in a new location. So this area isn't far off from the last place I went to. And there's actually quite a nice little area too. Uh, it was built around the same time, though it is a couple years newer. But nonetheless, we got also a little kids equipment there. As well as just a bunch of other really great places like this hill over here that we can definitely check the bottom of to see if there's anything there because this area is a real popular place when it snows. People love to go down the hill so that's probably a good place to look at as well. A really really nice place and we're right next to the lake or the stream or creek actually so real nice area and yeah we're gonna go ahead and take a look and see what we find and hopefully we'll get something good. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the video. Alrighty, so of course we gotta check out the playground equipment because usually we can get some good stuff as well. And it looks like we got ourselves our first find here. Swinging up in the 70s to 80s as a nice bell sound. So let's go ahead and dig this guy out. Yeah, it's definitely concentrated, so I'm thinking it's some kind of coin. Let's go ahead and dig it and see what we got. And with this stuff, you can easily just scrape away everything by hand. Yep. Got ourselves a penny. Pretty cool. Put this guy in our finds pouch. Move this guy away and see if we can spot something else here. Looks like there's still a signal in that area. Sure enough, I'm hearing a signal here. And if you look at that, <laughs> got a nickel. So we got six cents so far. Not too bad. First two finds are coins. So already a good start to the day. Let's keep going. Okay, we got our next find here ringing up in the 40s to 60s. Sometimes occasionally hitting a bell sound. So either this is one messed up target or there's multiple ones, which I think there's probably multiple coins here. Yeah, it's so concentrated. It really peaks at certain parts, so. We'll go ahead and use our pointer here. And the good part about this is that we really don't need to do any digging. Everything's kind of on the surface. Okay, we've got ourselves a piece of foil. And that might be it. Let's go ahead and use our metal detector again and see if we can spot anything else. Yeah, that looks like it. Okay, let's keep going. We are still over in the same place as before. And now we're getting a pretty high signal now. So, let's see what it could be. Okay, definitely concentrated, so that's a good sign. All right, let's see where it is. Oh, there it is. That says a penny. Looks like it's a copper one too. 1980. Pretty good. Looks like we got ourselves our first find on the grass here. We finished up the playground area. So now we're moving on to the actual grass here. So. It looks like it's right there, and we are getting a 70 signal. So, let's go ahead and dig it out. Okay, the soil is definitely much, much softer, mainly because we ended up getting a day of continuous rain, and it was fantastic. So now the soil is nice and soft. So, we ended up getting about eight inches down our first beaver tail. Pretty cool. Let's keep going, and hopefully, and get some really nice finds this time around because the ground is fantastic.
Hey, after finding many, many, many pull tabs, I think we finally got ourselves our first really nice signal. It's coming up in the 80s. All the pull tabs have been ringing up in the 60s and 70s, so I've been ignoring those. But, we seem to have a really nice 80s signal. And it seems to be pretty shallow as well, so might have something nice here and I think we have a surface find there we go we have a dime from 2012 pretty cool okay hold up hold up it looks like it's actually a surface find as well we got ourselves two pennies that's pretty cool so we ended up getting 12 cents in that spot excellent this is already turning out to be a much better situation than last time Okay, looks like there is. Looks like it's right there. Well, there we go. Penny. Awesome. Okay, so now we are over near one of the benches here. You can see that bench. And I got a pretty nice signal around here. And sure enough, when I move away all of the debris, we end up getting ourselves a penny. Just a memorial back, but pretty cool. The date is pretty much worn out and I cannot read it, but it's pretty cool. So there we go, another penny. This has been a much, much better hunt than last time. So let's continue and see what else we got because this is a pretty nice area and you can see over here there's even another half that we haven't even discovered yet just got all this place to go so it's going to be good let's continue and see what else we can get there we go Ooh, looks like some kids in trouble back there anyway we get ourselves a <laughs> penny sweet Looks like another memorial reverse. Let's see if there's anything else. Okay, that's it so far. Okay, we got ourselves our next fairly nice, nice target here, ringing up in the 80s. So, let's go ahead and see what it could be. There it is. Got ourselves another penny. Okay, so I thought I was immune from the beaver tabs, but sure enough, we got one right here. And it was ringing up high as well, so that shows that you won't be guaranteed something nice every single time. But still, we found a good amount of stuff so far, and I'd be happy to stop here, but we're gonna go for a little longer and see if we can come up with anything else. Alrighty, let's continue. Okay, we're getting ourselves another nice signal, ringing up in the 80s. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what it could be. Oh, it's definitely a coin. Let's go ahead and see what it is. And it looks like it says it's about four inches in. Well, I haven't even dug for about five seconds and I think I found my answer. No wonder it's ringing up as kind of a large object. There we go like it's kind of aluminum top let's double check anyway and make sure there's nothing hiding underneath because sometimes less uh, valuable things will be on top of more valuable stuff yep that's it huh. oh well let's continue well this is one interesting find here so whenever I went ahead and detected this area it's kind of near a pathway near the edge of the park I found this thing now it's pretty cool because this particular piece is a piece of a car some kids car just ended up getting destroyed <laughs> so that's pretty cool we got ourselves a die-cast car nothing old but still nice find nonetheless well I believe that's all I'm going to do for now. 
we still got quite a bit of this area to search. I went ahead and just searched along pretty much a straight line along the base of that hill and didn't really find much. So, so disappointing, but you know what? We still got all this area to this flat area, especially around that uh, cage over there. I'm thinking we'll probably get something nice as well. So yeah, that's gonna be it for now. And I hope you enjoyed me finding all those things. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to the results. Man, it's such a beautiful place. Okay, so we are all done with our metal detecting hunt. And man, was it interesting. We got lots of surface finds and a lot of coins. As you can see, we ended up getting 10 targets. Um, Eight of them being pennies, one being a nickel, and the other one being a dime. But otherwise, an excellent, excellent hunt. Not a lot of money, but lots of targets, which was great. We got a lot of vintage uh, sodas here. We got a. I don't think this is a. I don't think this is a soda, but we got a Magnum cap there, Shasta, and some hard to read. Looks like Nehi grape, artificially flavored soda. An old Dr. Pepperton. So, that's pretty cool. And we also got a couple of weird no-named ones. We got a piece of chain link again. And a bunch of pop tabs. So, lots of those, as to be expected. And we also got ourselves that toy car piece, which I thought was pretty cool. So, in other words, not anything out of the ordinary, but definitely a nice hunt indeed. So, yeah. Just let me know what you thought about the video in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to see that view count go up. Even if it doesn't go up that much, it's great to see you guys are checking out the videos. So thank you so much for watching. This is Andrew from The Coin Channel signing out. Hopefully I can make a new video again, but it may be a little while, but I got something planned. Um, though it is a little difficult when it comes to being hot outside during the summertime, as well as the coin shortage affecting my area. So we'll see how that goes. But regardless, still a great hunt and enjoyed it. Enjoyed going out in the heat. So I hope you enjoyed going out there and watching me do my thing as well. So yeah, that'll be all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Take care out there. Be safe. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. See ya.